Hello, it's me, Letitia. Welcome to my set for We Shall Overcome. Thank you, Paul, for inviting me. And before I forget, most importantly, happy birthday. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so these days when somebody says, how are you? They often say, no, really, how are you? And it could be one of those days. It looks like shattered scours. It was one of those days. Thank you. You might see Dixie Cat in the background there. She's always upstaging me on my videos. <sighs> What's a poet to do, eh? Okay. So the next poem I've got for you. Oh, I'm also I'm wearing my Isolation Festival T-shirt. If you can see that. Um, here she comes, upstaging me again. If you weren't at Isolation Festival, where were you? I mean, where were you? It's the festival for people at home anyway. More chances to catch up. You're here now and that's what's important. So my next poem, I wrote June 19, so nine months ago. But sometimes, somehow it seems really pertinent today. It's called, You Never Know What You've Got Till It's Gone. Then you are reminded, unexpectedly often, randomly, and you cry. Little bits of your heart calcify. Little by little, your self-belief, your resilience, your sense of self wash away. You begin to climb a tiny bit then whoosh down the channel, you are washed again and again. And that's okay for now. Emptiness drips as a stalactite forms, filling your whole body with a gnawing hole. Thank you. It won't be like this forever. There is positivity out there. We're here. Look at you. Now my next poem is called Three Generation for Women. You may have heard it before. It's been slightly amended because poems are never finished. Unlike baking, if you might recall that poem of mine. Um, so this is called Three Generation for Women and it was inspired by the writing of Dorothy Whipple. And since then, um, I've been looking at the I Come From Poems and Kate Clanchy's workshops. So this is a bit of a mishup, mishmash, mashup, mishmashup of those two ideas and it's something a little in between. So three generation, four women. Ethel, Kathleen, Anne, Letitia. We are accountant, activist, actor, we are bartender, busker, civil servant. We are computer programmer, dancer, domestic servant. We are educator, elf, elite solderer, entrepreneur. We are factory supervisor, gardener, musician, nanny. We are posh parent, posh we aren't. We are posh party help, producer, school governor. We are school meal supervisor. We are trade unionist. We are waitress. We are workshop leader. We are writer. Ethel, Kathleen, Anne, Letitia. We are women. We can be whatever we want to be. Thank you. So I've become one of those people that says so and I never even realised. Oh. And it is a strange time and during this time, I've this lockdown period, I've written a poem that's going to be produced in the anthology that Nottingham Writers Studios are putting together. 
don't think it's out yet, so don't tell anybody. Shh, sneak preview. So this is called The World Outside. I have to keep looking at my notes for this one. The world outside is strange. The outside world is strange. The strange world is outside. The world is strange outside. Inside all is well, as usual. Inside all is well. Inside all is usual. Inside is usually all well. Inside well is usual. Inside is all. Except that things are different outside. Except that things are different inside. Except that things are different. Except that different is the thing. Except there are no exceptions. Except every different day outside. Except every different day inside. The world outside is calm. The world outside seeks. The world outside seeks. The world outside seeks the calm the inside world can offer. The inside world seeks calm. The inside world seeks. The inside world seeks. The inside world seeks the calm the outside world can offer. Inside can learn from the difference outside. Outside can learn from the difference inside. We learn of the difference outside from inside and we learn of the difference inside from outside. Except nothing is different. Except the differences. Thank you. Keep an eye out for the uh, Nottingham Writers Studio Lockdown Anthology. Well, there's been so much great creativity and poems and everything going on. Um, I'm sure you've caught some of it and old Pete's in Corona Verses and lots lots more of you as well, I'm sure. Um, so there's lots of great creativity going on in this time, which I think we all need so we don't all go a little bit different. OK, so I'm going to finish with a poem I wrote for um, the eve. I was going to say the evening post, I don't know where that came from, excuse me. <clears throat> A poem that I wrote for Snap Knots Nottingham back last August. Um, I went out with a photographer and alongside the trench there was um, a canal boat, a tiny little canal boat and attached to that was a tiny, tiny little boat and um, narrow boats, uh, pull along boats are called butties. So this is called Does My Butt Look Big In This? My tub my home, my freedom, my view, yet I keep an escape pod. So when it all gets too quiet, too familiar, too friendly, too lonely, too guilty, I hop in my speedboat escape pod and go to shore, to shop, to another front door another life. A life where I am static, trapped in the role of a 40-year-old teenager trying to appease mother whilst checking the carers have been and she's clean despite being mean. When I head back it all comes into its own, this little diesel engine in its high-pitched drone. It lets me escape to my little tub home where all is calm and herbs are homegrown. Watched over by my little man who's always cheery and offers me smiles as we travel for miles and miles and miles up and down this stretch. Never far from that childhood home I dread, just in case, one day.
Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Enjoy the rest of the X. It's been great so far and it's going to get even better, I'm sure. Take care. See you soon.